I think today we were fantastic in the first half. Um, I think at half time you're wondering what your question is, you know, turning nil nil when you should be perhaps three nil up. Um, we played some terrific football. A couple of individual errors at the start of the second half and we find ourselves two 0 down and Wednesday had a little ten minute spell where they got on the ball but we we regained our uh, momentum to to just command the game for the last twenty five minutes and um so there's a big difference from Tuesday at uh, Ipswich to today. I don't think the Leeds United supporters got the road. Just they're thinking about individual errors, they're thinking about the mistakes and it just brings the reality back. It counts in both boxes what happens. When you come to places like this, you've got to take the chances that Dakar and Cook had early in the half. Yeah, you have to, but we take a chance and it gets chopped off. Um, so from that point of view, yeah, you have to take those chances. You have to get yourself in front. I think if we'd have gone in front today, it's, it's easy to say how that changes the, the course of the game. But, you know, I don't go away disappointed with the performance today. I go away disappointed with individuals in terms of mistakes in, in both boxes because nobody means to miss a chance either. So as much as we can look at the, the goals we concede, which is which is mistakes, we, there's mistakes that lead to chances being missed because no one means to do it and I, I thought my team had a real energy today, a real commitment to passing the moving. I think at times we were far, far superior but at this stage of the season as a, as a head coach it's also a bit winning games and we've lost and they've won so good luck to them. What was your view on the goal that never was? Well, the, the free kick is given, uh, the referee um, signals he's going to allow a substitution. Um, Forrester Rennie got his deck chair out and took four days to come off. The referee, in my opinion, overruled that then and said we're going to restart play. Uh, he clearly uh, whistled to restart the play, which he's, I've just been and seen him, he accepts. He shouts to my players, play, restart. We score. Um, he gives the goal. Uh, I go for a little leak, a wee break, and uh, I come back and he's chopped it off. And obviously there's nothing you can do about it at the time, you just need to understand that. I've been in and seen Anthony, he says in law, in law, he's uh, he's got it right because it should be it should be disallowed. Um, I've seen many a substitution being made where the referee stops it for substitution. Someone's taken far too long and he restarts play. I've never seen somebody go back to restart and play again ever. And um, but there we go. He's a Premier League referee who stepped down to take case of a big derby today. He should be in the under nines in the park pitches on Monday next refereeing game performance because you cannot make a, a mistake of that magnitude in a game that means so much to both sets of supporters.